Good evening and welcome to tonight's Telecom TV Super Panel being held here in probably the snazziest car lot in the world. Are MEC and NFV the key building blocks for 5G? Well, the answer sounds so easy. Looking a little bit deeper, it's actually not that easy to answer because uh, it very much depends on where you define the edge and it very much depends on the operator. The fact is that it will be extremely difficult to avoid the succession. It's the same way that it's extremely difficult to have, I don't know, central heating without oil. But without NFV, MEC will be more difficult, uh, probably not as cost effective. MEC can be done without NFV, there's no doubt about it. But should I take advantage of the principles of NFV and SDN to deploy a MEC? The answer is absolutely. Uh, Swisscom as a small country, uh, uh, we have only a few milliseconds cross country, Definitely. so there is no no point in, in edge. Probably the whole, our whole network is edge already. We need to come up with an initial architecture, implement it, bring it into production, learn from there, and then go through the next iteration. We need a software architecture that facilitates the creation of those applications on, these, on those multi-provider environments. We, and we need for that a software architecture that has to be new. The challenges are in, in, in serious deployment and getting it uh, up and running in scale. Uh, I think it, as we go through the journey, uh, the cloud native uh, technology will definitely help us. Let's just do it. <laughs> if you want to say you're being cloud native, you better be moving at the speed of the cloud guys. Well, we're out of time, and I think people will agree that was a super, super panel. And please show your appreciation for a great panel.